Hello, everybody. Welcome into Texan Live. I am here with Katie, head football coach Gary Joseph. Thanks for being with us here today, Coach. Good. I'm glad to be here. You know, anytime you're playing this time of year, it's, it's quite a blessing. Well, you've had a season for the ages. I mean, nothing new to the Katie, but uh, 12 and one, and uh, just absolutely dominating the regular season in your district. Uh, what do you contribute to your success this season? Well, um, it's been a building process. You know the. Uh, the kids are lo looking forward to uh, the playoffs and they've been looking forward to the playoffs. You know, we played a, a tough game in, in non-district and, and we didn't play well. And I think the kids understood that from then on they have to be at their best and they have to focus each and every week. What do you say to the guys after a, after a loss like that to the Woodlands? Do you, do you just say to, to keep their heads up and keep them motivated the rest of the season so early? Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, I talk to them about, you know, what came before them and, you know, this was a this was a setback, and this wasn't an ultimate defeat. And we weren't going to dwell on it, but we were going to get better by it, and we we're going to get better from it, and we we're going to learn and, and move forward. Um, I think the biggest thing that they understood is is you know we can't just be ordinary. We have to sit there and and be at our best and execute to to be able to beat anybody. Well, uh, well, moving on to that, uh, you're playing Manville on uh, on Friday, a team that is undefeated. A team that has, in the same sense, rolled over teams. And uh, they've got just about all the weapons uh, athletically. But how do, you, how do you guys really stack up against that team? Well, we'll see. I don't know. You know, they've got a really good football team and a real good football program. And, you know, they've been successful, you know, and they've, they're very, very talented and, and no doubt about that. And, you know, we're going to have to we're going to have to execute. And the only way we can sit there and even compete with them is is all our kids have to be very unselfish and, and to sit there and do their job and execute. Is it seven state titles? Is that right in Katie's history? That's about right. It's, it's been a good run. We've yeah, it's seven titles and stuff. We won one in, when they were Class A in, in '59, and then uh, the last several have been in you know in the '90s and and in you know the past couple of years. So it's been a good run. Having been here for 33 years and, and being a head coach since 2004, what does it mean to you to be a part of this Katy tradition? Well, it, it means that it means everything because you know this is you know you put a lot of time and effort into this thing and you know as did a lot of people to sit there and get the program to where it's at right now and and uh, it's been a you know it's been a, a battle you know you you want to be able to maintain it and stuff because. It's not just for the the kids; it's for the school and it's for the for the community. Could we get great, great support? Well said, Coach. Speaking of which, do you have any guys currently committed to anywhere? Um, Rodney Anderson's committed to Oklahoma right now, and I have uh, we have a couple of underclassmen that are getting a lot of looks and have some offers. But the only senior we really have committed right now is Rodney Anderson. Okay. Okay. Um, what was that? Oh, this is the last. This is the only time I'm going to ask you. I promise. <laughs> You uh you coach Andy Dalton, of course. Uh, was it your first year here? You he was here. What was it like? Uh, does he still keep in contact with the school? Does he come out to any games or anything like that when he has a chance? Uh, usually in off season, he spends his off season in TCU. But when he's down here seeing his parents, he'll come by the school and he you know, he'll talk to our kid and things as you would want him to. You know, we had another great quarterback. And, you know, just won the Grey Cup and Bo Levi Mitchell and stuff and stuff. So we've had some we've had some good football players and. You know, they're anxious to, to credit their program and anxious to credit the school, and they're anxious to give back, too. So, And that's, that's, that's a great thing when you have kids that can sit there and do that. Absolutely. Coach, it's uh, quite a tradition here. The, the, the fans were standing outside uh, about three hours before the game, lined up, ready to get in the game. When you see something like that, I mean, it's, it probably means a lot. I mean, what, what do you think of when you, when you hear something like that? Well, you know, like I said, that's that's Katie, and you know, and that's these kids and these parents and the people in this community. They want to get out and support their kids, and you know, that's great that people still do that. And you know, you, they support them because of the way they play, and they support them because of the kind of kids they are. And and uh, it's easy to support kids like that. And I'm very thankful we have a community like that. Last question, Coach. Well, this going into the game against Manville, you prepared all season for it. And uh, I, know, I know it's it could be one of your toughest tasks, if not the toughest task. What do you expect out of out of the game on Friday? A war. Um, I think it's uh, you know we're going to have to play extremely well. I know I know that, and um, I, our kids know that. Uh, we understand they they've talked about you know been talking about this game for a year, but you know when it comes down to it, you know and you just like you know two good football teams play. You know I don't think that you know 
they're going to want any worse than we do and things. You know, we're, we're, you know, our goal is to win, and we're going to do our best to go out there and, and perform. And now I think that's what we have to do is you have to go out and perform. Absolutely. Coach, I know you're a busy guy. I know you got a lot to do, so I really appreciate you stopping by and giving us some time here on Texan Live. Well, I appreciate it. appreciate what you are doing. Thank you very much. No problem. It's Texan Live.